Yeah, so guess what, people? I'm going to get rained out. In my pool, I'm going to get rained out. It happens every time. Every freaking time. I feel targeted. <laughs> I'm not insane. I'm not crazy. But how come every time when I go to get in my pool, they want to bring out all the crap and the lightning and thunder and rain? So when I go in my pool, it is a process of hauling ass, getting your shit together to get in the pool before it comes. Now, I just heard thunder. You see all those smears up there, and they got more chemtrails going on, and I got to see the clear sun through the clouds, and it was perfectly round then, but of course it's not now. But there's thunder over in that area, so they're going to bring it my way. Am I surprised? No. Am I crazy? No. It just seems to happen every time. I don't believe in coincidences. I believe in messages. And that's a message. Stay out of the pool. Screw your time to yourself. It's something because it don't make sense to me. I was just swimming along having a grand old time. Boom. Thunder. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, here we go again, thunder, thunder. And when you live in the country and you're outside all the time, you're outside till you see the rain actually come down and storm. So you have time to, you know, buckle down all your items that blow away and put down certain things and anchor down your canopy and put down umbrellas and, you know, all that stuff. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. So it's a process for me to get set up for the pool. Just to have this crap come in. Whatever that is. You know, whatever's going on over there. So, I would just figure I would share. Because when I heard that thunder, instant anger set in. I was like, there goes my pool day. But I can always move again. <laughs> Yay. This quarantine, people, is either going to drive you insane or it's going to bring your family closer together. It's driving my family insane. It ain't even bothering me. Actually, I just laugh at it now. But I don't laugh at the fact that the suicide rates are up, the crime rates are up, families being split up. That rate is up. It's all, you know, and if, if people think it's a coincidence that families are separated and divided so bad, it's not a coincidence. See, my family thinks that it's just us. We have screwed up people in our house. We weren't raised right. I have military parents, army parents. So, you know how that, you should know how that goes. And they still believe in the fact that kids are to be seen and not heard. Well, what the hell is that? These kids are smarter these days, people. They don't want to be seen and not heard. They want to be heard. They have a voice. Which makes me very proud of this generation. They can be lazy. They may not have the work ethic we do when we were younger. I'm 46, by the way. But our generation has learned to have a voice. So I am so proud of that because, hell, most of our adults don't have a voice. They're too busy staring at their phone, telling their kid, hold on, hold on, shut up, wait. I watch it everywhere. I watch it with other families and I watch it in my own family and it's disgusting. It truly sickens me. Because when it comes to kids, everyone needs to shut up and listen to them. That's how I feel. And if people knew the truth behind what kids know and see versus adults, <laughs> they probably would listen more, wouldn't they? But no, they don't. Because nobody believes in the pineal gland. No one wants to research it. People think we just make it up. We make it up as we go along. We make up all this crazy accusations as we go along. Yeah. Uh-huh. I caught another sun halo earlier. 
but I was sitting on top of my ladder over there. So I was not about to go swim and get my phone and record it. But it was another sun halo around the sun. And now they obscured the sun area once again. People, this is becoming too often. They do it too, too often. If they do this too often, there's something going on. There's no way they should obscure the sun area that much on a daily basis. Now see that sun with the naked eye when you look through it? You can see a regular round object. Kind of looks like the moon. Only during the day. But then as the crap and so-called clouds move away, there goes the lead flashlight. And that's what causes the sun halo. So, whatever. That's just my guess. So, everyone have a good day. I stay, I know Florida way too well. I lived here my whole life. And I normally come out here and sit under my umbrella and wait for the rain to pass over because it's never that long. And then I go back to swimming. <laughs> Great thing about Florida, the weather does not last long. If you get rain, it does not last long. Look over there. It's kind of bright over there, right? It's a little bright in that area. Even the sun is over there. Is that the sun up there? I don't know. Is it a circle? What is that? If that's, that? That's supposed to be the sun, people. That's supposed to be a little dinky sun. <laughs> I'm zoomed all the way in. That's our sun. Oh, look. All the way in. I'm sorry. I know it's moving. Look at that. Is that a sun? No, no, it's not a sun. If anything, it's the shape of a sun simulator. Have a good day.